Hey guys, Jonathan Ingram here. In this five minute Android tutorial, we are going to learn how to create a toolbar just like the one you see here. And I wanted to throw in a couple different scenarios. Uh, you don't have to have just icons on a toolbar. You can have uh, icons, you can have words, and also overflow menu for anything that does not fit. And uh, in this case, they display a couple toasts, and I think this last one goes to an activity. All right, so let's go ahead and get to the code. So first thing, you'll want to go to your app build.gradle file, and you'll want to make sure you're using app compat. Uh, we can actually probably take out the constraint layout because I'm not actually using one. But you want to make sure you're using app compat, whatever the latest version is, that's fine. And then let's go to our layout file. So the great thing about a toolbar is it's not limited like a old school action bar is. Uh, a toolbar is, is just a view just like anything else. So the, what that means is you can position, p bleh, excuse me position it wherever you want. So in this case you could have it on the bottom. Uh, or you could have it on the top, anywhere you like. I'm going to leave it on the bottom for now. And I'll show you what the actual code looks like. So one thing you'll want to include in the parent layout is Android fit system windows equals true just to make sure uh, everything fits the way it's supposed to. And this is the actual code for a toolbar. Make sure you're using the Android support uh, version of the toolbar. That way you can have some backward compatibility there. So everything is kind of standard. Uh, minimum height uh, is set to a built-in uh, variable called action bar size. That's our ID. Setting the text color and the background color. And then that's just our alignment info there. So let's go to the Java code and take a look at everything. So after you have uh, set your layout for your activity, you can create a toolbar variable. And again, make sure you use the support uh, version of this toolbar. And then uh, we hook it to our ID and our layout. We want to set the toolbar to act as an action bar for the activity. So we do that by calling set support action bar and then passing in our toolbar. And I'll show you what this line does in a moment. So now you have a toolbar on your uh, activity, but nothing is going to happen unless you override on create options menu. So that's exactly what we do here. Uh, we inflate our menu items, and I've included everything in the menu directory here. And I've called it main menu. And that is what that looks like. It's just several items. Uh, make sure you give them all IDs. Uh, they don't necessarily have to have an icon. Uh, this one is showing if there is room, that's that little email icon. And uh, as you can see in the settings one, I don't have an icon. And I always want it to show, so that's why you see the word settings there. So I just wanted to put that there so that you knew you don't necessarily have to have an icon. You can just place a word up there if you needed to, if that serves your users better. All right, so let's get back to the main activity file. And let's go to... Uh, the on options item selected. This is how you respond to your users clicking on the various events. And the way I like to do it is by a case switch statement. I, I, I find this to be nice and clean. Uh, what we are passing in is our menu item and we're getting the ID of that item. And then if that ID matches the ID of our compose, um, menu item. I'm just displaying a toast saying that you clicked on the compose button. And I'm doing that for all of the items except for that action login uh, item where here I am going to a new activity. 
Typically, I would create an intent and then I would pass in the intent into start activity. And this is just a way to show you that you can actually do that all in one line if you wanted to. And that is going into just the built in login activity that you can create uh, just by going to new activity and then login activity. It adds in a bunch of built in stuff for you. And since a toolbar is just a view, that means that you can do things to it like animations. Uh, if you have not checked out my uh, YouTube video on how to, to do this basic fade in Android animation, make sure you check it out and I'll put a link to it in the description below. But uh, this is just a basic overview of what that animation does. Um, you can set how long you want it to be or how long you want the animation to take. In this case one and a half seconds. And what I'm going to do is go back to here. I'm going to uncomment this just to show you what that looks like. I think it adds a little uh, bit of flair to the Android application. So that's going to go ahead and build and reload and keep your eye on the toolbar. Shouldn't take it too much longer. Now, as you can see, uh, the toolbar faded in uh, since it's just a regular view and we can practically do what we want with it. And that is how you create a toolbar in your Android applications. If you like what you see, don't forget to like this video and subscribe. And if there is a type of tutorial that uh, you don't see on the channel that you would like for me to make a video on, I've included a link to a Google form in the description that you can fill out and I'll get that request and um, get to it as soon as possible. As always, thank you guys for your time.